your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Manu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. We have, besides this yoga fitness program, we have a lot of support for you. We have a website, a content-based website, www.yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X, P-R-E-S-S dot com. And as I love to say, and Josiane and Ron know that, mm -hmm. we live in North America. We don't know how to spell, so don't put an E before the X. It's Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S dot com. Now, we air five days a week, 1.30 Eastern Standard Time, but if you cannot pick us up on your TV channels, Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. You can also go online, mnn.org. That's Manhattan Neighborhood Network. That's where we film these episodes. Today, once more, we have a full crew and a full lot of energy right here on the mats. On crew, we have Barbara Levin. Barbara, I hope I got your last name right. We have Fran Dixon and Catherine Kirkpatrick. And Alex Lamel, I believe, is incognito. He's hiding in the control room, but he's helping as well. So under Rich and Drew's guidance, we have a full crew. So thank you so much for the great teamwork. Also, thanks for all the studio lights and the gobos and everything else that's made today's episode happen. On the mats right here, we have Ron Thomas to my extreme left. Ron is a producer at Manhattan Neighborhood Network, and he is looking forward to our special guest demo today. I'm ready to get some acupuncture. <laughs> you're ready to have someone <laughs> stick needles into you, and you're going to feel great. I know great. Right <laughs> I'm sure you've tried it before, right, Ron? Yeah, many you have. times. And you felt the healing powers of acupuncture. Wonderful. We have Josiane Hurd to my right. Josiane, thank you so much. This is one of the rare moments you get a chance to stretch with us, rare moments right. where we get to share your energy right here. That's true. What are you expecting today? Uh, acupuncture, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some uh, whatever you want to do, maybe some breathing and you could go with it. Some breathing? Eventually. Okay. Well, maybe some neck twist or two. Some twists, all right. Relax a little bit Done. the torso. And Depending on how much time you, you have, if you promise not to go to sleep on us when our special guest I'll puts up things into you. <laughs> All right, because we're only going to have a little bit of a demo. Mona Chopra, our special guest today, is an acupuncturist, and she is going to do a little bit of a demo after we have a few questions for Mona. And once we're done, pa once we get past that, she's going to do a bit of a demo with Josiane on the mat right there. So viewers at home, just watch and learn, and whatever you find at the end of the demo, we're all going to be stretching one more time, right, Mona? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mona, welcome back to the show. It Thank was a pleasure you. to have you on yesterday. And we lo I learned a lot. I know I le learned plenty about acupuncture in just those few interview moments we had with you yesterday. What do you have planned for us today? Tell us what's all this here, right here. <laughs> okay, well, yesterday you had asked, you know, what actually I love is the way acupuncture. She just went in her <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. You had asked what is acupuncture, and so I was explaining how there are the channels on the body, and there are specific points which are um, areas of concentrations of particular energy spaces right. in the body where change is possible to happen, greater right. possibility for change to happen at those specific points. And acupuncture is stimulating those points using very fine needles to stimulate those points. So What's all what I have here are some acupuncture needles okay. of different varieties and sorts. And just to show you yeah, all- you can and hold it up to the cameras, they'll pick it up. And the viewers, how extremely fine they are 
They're so fun. It's hard to see. Out. Even from here. Wow. You no, know, I guess you might need a real. They got it. Up. Wonderful. They actually picked it up. That's beautiful. And Very nice. So you can see that it's extremely, extremely yeah. thin and right. fine here. It's like a hair. It's like a hair. Right. It's like wow. a hair. So this is, you know, one sort of an acupuncture. You know in the hotel rooms, they give you those little threaders, needle threaders? Yes. Is it is it wire? What's it made of? It is made of sur stain stainless steel. It is made of stainless it steel. It is okay. made of stainless steel, okay. and pretty much in this day and age, in this country, we use all disposable, one-time right. use it's acupuncture one needles, Got so it. that we don't reuse them. We just dispose them medical waste. Got it. Um, What's a Band-Aid? Is that Band-Aid? So, no, here is just alcohol swabs, which we okay. use to prepare the point, just to clean off the area first. Okay. Um, and then this is just other sorts of um, sizes of acupuncture Bigger needles, needles for naughtier oh, people, oh, that's for you. <laughs> These are really not so much thicker, but longer. Okay. So I'll just hold it up here so you can Lovely. see. Lovely. Longer Very needle nice might be work. needed for, right. you know, say if someone has sciatica and you might need to do some points in the butt, you would need a longer needle to really right. stimulate w to the deep level. To go deeper. Okay. So Wonderful. you've got needles of that sort and size and here I've got what are called ear seeds okay these people tend to love because when people come for a treatment they receive a treatment but then they go home and maybe they'll come back you know once more that week or the next week but what can they do every day on their own right right you know, aside from yoga and meditation right. and all of that <laughs> but from an acupuncture point of view these this is a, simply a little piece of medical tape and adhered to the center of it is a seed. This okay. comes from, from an herb. And that is applied to a point hey, on the body. You hold it still right there. Very nice. Uh, yep. Lower. No, no, beautiful. OK. And so right in the center of that square piece right. of medical tape they is the it. seed. Yeah. And this is used, applied to an acupuncture point, particularly on the ear. There are so many points on the ears to stimulate that point. The person can stimulate it every hour. Very useful. Regardless of where the acup uh, acupuncture needles have been yeah, put the in. The needles can, may have can been be put all over the body. The ear, there's a whole micro system of acupuncture, which is ear acupuncture. Oh, wow. And you can actually treat the entire body through points through the on ear. the ear. So sort of for the homework, the way I do it is use the ear uh, seeds on the ear points. And even if it's something like knee pain, or even if it's anxiety, or even if it's a whole host of conditions, you can actually stimulate points on the ear. Wow. That stimulate the brain's connection with that part of the body. What kind of seed is that? This is from an herb, which right now I am actually forgetting the name of. <laughs> so, but it is, it is a medicinal herb, and so the seed itself has some volatile oils which stimulate the oh, point. Okay. And so that the little pressure patch. itself stimulates it. The little patch just holds it in place. The little patch just, just holds, holds it in it. place. Some people use magnets or just like a little metal ball. Yeah. I like the seeds because it also has that medicinal component. This brings to mind something I read very quickly. Remember we were talking about super brain yoga? They were talking about acupr acupressure points, acupuncture points yeah. in the oh, ear lobes. Yes. In the earlobes. Right. So when we are young in India, we have our ears pierced. Right. I never really understood why. Yeah. Apparently, the left earlobe stimulates the right side of the brain. Mm -hmm. Right earlobe stimulates the left side of the brain. So when you hold the opposite earlobes and you do standing squats, right. it's actually energizing the brain. And people feel there's a whole study about that. So now I understand. I'm so happy you came on today. Now I understand <laughs> how those needles work and how that little seed helps yeah. to identify those parts. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. what's in that little so, box there? Yeah, so here I just brought, you know, Tinder as, box. as acupuncturists, um, the, the primary tool most acupuncturists use are the needles. However, there are other therapies that we use as well. Right. And so these go together. So this is used, I use this for a technique known as gua sha or gua sa. It's the Chinese term which means to press and stroke or to scrape. And um, gua is to scrape and sha is the stagnant blood and lymph that you're pulling up to the surface or oh, okay. as some people think of it as the toxins. So, so when you rub it on the skin? The side? technique is just using a balm. So this is just my choice of a balm. You right. could use something right. else. Um, oh, and they're trying to get that on camera. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. And this yeah. is just a simple balm which you would apply to the particular part of the body, typically the neck and back area, okay. but you can use other parts of the body. And then using a smooth edged tool with a rounded lip 
So something like the traditional Chinese soup spoon, right. you press and stroke the skin repeatedly, oh. and if the person has the presence of sha or this stagnant blood and lymph right. in this level known as the superficial fascia, little marks will come to the surface of the skin, little red, they're known as petechiae, but basically little red or darker dots will come to the skin, and that's pulling the stagnation up to the surface, wow. allowing the body to... Um, uh, Recharge. Re exactly. Regenerate new okay. cells. Right. Improve circulation, used to reduce fever, used to stimulate the immune system, and used for pain. Tight muscles. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's In yoga, sometimes we talk about how every time we stretch, we are allowing the lymph fluids under the skin yes. start to move. Yes. So this is literally drawing all that out like toxins. Exactly. Coming to the surface. Exactly. What, it smells good. I could smell it from yeah, right here. What, uh, does it have different smells? Ginger, cayenne, lemongrass, calendula, cardamom. And it's the base of this is uh, virgin olive oil and beeswax. There's castor oil in here too. Wow. Cinnamon, rosemary, oh, marjoram. I, I don't want to remember castor oil <laughs> when I was young. Every time I would go to my grandmother's place, I had to have a glass of castor oil to drink to just wow. detox, just clean yourself it up. Will. And the days we had that, that's the day she'd make the most delicious snacks. <laughs> Josiane, yes, we are ready. So, are we? Yes. Good to go. Okay. Okay. Have fun, Josiane. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to demonstrate here a simple acupuncture treatment. So, Josiane, why don't you just get comfortable and lay all the way down if you're comfortable? Yeah. Would you like um, the block for your head or do you feel comfortable laying? I have my thing on my hair, so maybe I should. Can I sit here? Can you can sit, sure. You can, you can just sit. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And just be in any comfortable position. Yes. I'm very She's very comfortable in any position. In any position. Okay. She knows me. Okay, so maybe have your legs outstretched. Okay. Be good. Okay. And what I'm going to just um, demonstrate here is a few key, very potent, powerful acupuncture points mm -hmm. that are used to harmonize the system. So since we don't have time here right now to go into your specific health history, mm -hmm. I'm going to um, do some of these very powerful points to rebalance Thank your you. system. Thank you. I'm for it all the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So what, what you may feel upon the insertion is a little pinch. Sometimes you feel a little pinch, and sometimes you don't feel a pinch at all. But then beyond that, what you may feel is just like a little tingle, a little pressure, a little sense. Maybe I'll put it here, and you'll feel it here, like you feel some movement, distension, a little um, ache, some kind of sensation like that. So I'll just ask you what you're feeling. Okay. And you had mentioned some... Yes, I have some issues. I don't have that growth. I had three injuries on the same knee. So this knee has been injured a lot. Yes. Okay. In, in several periods of time, of course. Okay. So I'm just going to start with the point here near your elbow, near your left elbow. The channels that cross through this area come mm -hmm. through here as well. And so uh, you're, you're comfortable sitting? Absolutely. And okay. uh, in any position. If you don't want okay. your hair to touch the ground, just then you can use this block. No, no, it's not that. It's because I have those things oh, in my head. Got it, got it. I, That's fine. On the side. I understand. Yeah. It'll okay. hurt, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to ask you to breathe in and breathe out. And that's it. How are you How doing? I'm yeah, doing fine. Was that okay? I didn't even feel it. You didn't even didn't. feel it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Great. So of course, usually, if you were to go to an acupuncturist's office, mm -hmm. you'll be on a treatment table or lit in a lounge yes. chair. The whole setup would be a little bit With different. With soft music in the background. The candles, the <laughs> candle sense, yeah. The chanting. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but here Hoping. we are working with the on-the-ground scenario. Breathe in. She knows exactly where to touch. That's right. Wow. That's right. Well, that so she's a professional. <laughs> I'm turning my, my back to the camera there. <laughs> no, they'll pick you up. There's a camera up, okay. up there, too. So. And you can just relax. Yes. Yeah. 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 Breathe in. And feel that. Little sensation. Mm -hmm. okay. This is wonderful. 
now I'm tempted to start sticking needles into me. <laughs> I'm there. Next. So it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, huh? No. It's just like wow. a little, little, tiny, little tiny, bit, just tiny, a tiny, prick, tiny, tiny little bit. It's like a mosquito bite. You can't feel yeah. it. Yeah. Right. You can't feel wow. it. Wow. By the time she put it on, it's already done. It's yeah, you're in close-up right there, just yet. <laughs> oh, no, the <laughs> knee was in close-up. That's good. Great shots. Mm -hmm. She's got the Arctic bear around her ankle. <laughs> like those socks. Yeah, very common. You may feel this. Let me mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Using that hand to brace yourself, is that okay? Yeah. And relax. Okay. <laughs> I just have prevent myself not to fall asleep. <laughs> so why don't you tell us as what you're doing now while we are going? Why do you have two needles in the arm, mm -hmm. one in the knee, on the right knee, one at the left ankle, and yes. where was the last one? In the right hand? Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. why exactly. are the different points? What's happening? Okay. okay, so in this case, why I first chose to do these two points is because um, you are having an issue right here mm -hmm. on this part of the knee. So these channels that are on the contralateral limb mm -hmm. are part of the same channel network that goes through to these points. So I want to call the body's attention to that channel by coming to it but not going straight directly to it. Yeah. Uh, so it's like awakening it by coming to these first, just mm -hmm. lighting, kind of lighting it up you can say. So this is what these two points right. are right. representing and the inner more point here helps to balance the inside mm -hmm. here. The outer point here helps to balance more this outer point yeah, here. Point Since you do connected. have this Exactly, it is connected. And since you do have this knee issue, this is a major point that is used to tonify chi of the body, but it is also very helpful for any kind of a knee issue, mm -hmm. like in a very general way. Right. So again, since we didn't go into a whole in-depth history, this is That's a like whole new episode. <laughs> Does it rush the blood flow in that area? Is it helps to nice? increase, yes. I mean, this, this particular channel is considered a major thoroughfare of mm -hmm. chi, of energy and blood in the body. So it's actually this particular point has the name mm -hmm. in Chinese all the points have names right, that are very right. poetic and then we memorize by number and all of that but the name of this point in Chinese is um, Susan Li which translates to something to the effect of three more Li which is a unit of measurement like a mile like three more miles oh, right, right. the reason being it by stimulating this point, you give the person the energy to go three more miles. Oh. Oh, so wow. this is the very point that are used actually in horses right. for horse racing mm -hmm. to stimulate the energy. It's a major um, yeah. energy stimulator. And then these other two points are more nourishing of what I'm going to call we're going to call yin or soothing. So just looking right. at you, mm -hmm. knowing that as you're um, aging, you may need some more support for right. yin, which is fluids, which is estrogen. Right. This is a major point to nourish yin of the body. In fact, the name of this point is three yin meeting. The three mm -hmm. yin channels yes. of the leg oh, meet wow. through here. So in any case, it stimulates that aspect. If you're having menopausal symptoms, any of that, mm -hmm. this would be something that would be helpful. And here, also um, helpful for the yin aspect um, on your heart channel, a point that's used to calm the spirit. So again, just generally to give a calming effect. So that was a simple little treatment. We're going here. to do the twist. You're going to stay right there. Okay. Is it safe to remove those so she can join us in the few twists while I'm we have some time? I, yes, I'll take them. It's out. okay to take them out. Of course. So yeah. fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll you have can to. sit there. How are we doing for time? I think we may have about mm -hmm. ten minutes. So we'll just do a few twists, just yet. Okay. Eight. Eight minutes, great. We'll do five minutes of twist by the time she takes the needles out. And then maybe after today's taping, Ron is going to be or the tomorrow, subject. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow, yes. Oh, we'd love to have you back, Mona. Mm -hmm. This yes. is very interesting. It's fascinating. I've actually okay. never even, I've heard of acupuncture, but I've never this actually tried it, never watched it. 
show. It's such a pleasure to be here. I'm glad. Yes. I'm always glad to introduce people. it to people who haven't had the experience. Right. Yet, oh, are yeah. Just really open to it. it. We are willing to try anything <laughs> right here. Yeah. I would yeah. never have known of it had I not gone to it my, for it myself. Right. Know, for my own healing. Well, Mona, we would love to have you back. Here's what we're going to do for viewers out there. Just know there are many different wellness uh, experiences that you can have right here on our show right here. So today we have Mona Chopra, who is an acupuncturist. Mona, this has been an amazing experience. We'd love to have you back. Where do you practice? Mm -hmm. Before we move on, we've got, we're going to do about five minutes of stretching, but where do you practice? Where is your clinic? I am here in Manhattan on East 37th Street between okay. Lexington and Park. And you have a website? I do have a website. Okay. It is www.peopletreewellness.com. Where were you? I was there People. today on 37 between Lexington and Park. 116, I think. One That's one the card. I went one to 117. One oh, <laughs> you there were you at 117. Yes. You could have just visited <laughs> Mona and got all the needles into you over there. There's a reason for everything. That's right. Yeah. That's right. She felt the vibes. <laughs> so Mona is, Mona's chambers, mm -hmm. her clinic is on 118 East 37th between Lexington and Park. That's and right. one wellness one more time. People, you will. Uh, the website is peopletreewellness.com. peopletreewellness.com, and we will have that in the credits as well. So stay in touch with Mona. She's going to be back with us, hopefully, in several more episodes. There's so much more to learn. This has been a fascinating experience. Josiane, we may not do breathing. Let's do a few twists, mm -hmm. because I think if we do the breathing, then we won't get a uh, chance. Actually, yeah, that's fine. What do you want? Mix of twists and breathing? Mix of twists. Mix of twists. Let's do the seated <laughs> twists. That was lovely. I really enjoyed watching uh, that. I think now I'm convinced that I'm not going to bleed to death, so I'm going to come. <laughs> yes. I'm coming and to your chamber. I'm very close it's, to you, please. It's not painful at it all. Didn't, it no. didn't hurt at all. Yeah, it's like, it's so good. Wow. Well, let's come on our hands and knees. We're doing only seated twists and a few spinal undulations. So let's come on our hands and knees. Knees are directly below the hips. Toes are curled in. Hands are directly below the shoulders. Fingers are nicely splayed. And this is also your favorite posture, Josiane. Yes. Marjorie or cat, we're going to inhale, dip the torso, lift the chin, chest, and buttocks up. And as we exhale, uncurl the toes, arch the back. Keep your toes curled in to start. Inhale and dip. Bend your elbows. Exhale, uncurl your toes, arch your back. One more time to redeem ourselves. Curl your toes in, inhale, and dip. Uncurl your toes, arch your back. Let's all come down into seated position. Tuck your left heel under the right buttock. Cross your right foot over the left knee. The front of your right foot faces the front of the mat. And then push your right knee in. Talk your upper body to the right. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. And then I need to hold on to my left knee or I come undone. You can also place your left hand somewhere on your right thigh. Take your right hand behind you and turn to look back. So that, that way, once you're looking back, you're opening up the shoulders. And Mona, feel free to give any kind of explanation from your perspective because I know you also teach yoga and now from an acupuncture <laughs> point of view. Feel yeah. free. What's happening? Why do we feel so good when we come out of these twists? Yeah. Well, one of the main things that twists do is like really internally massage our body. So, right. of course, as you know, it's massaging the spine, all those spaces in the spine get squeezed so then when right. we come out there creates more space and it's also really massaging the internal organs of the lower abdomen and pelvic cavity our intestines our gynecological organs even the stomach the liver they're getting squeezed here so it's like they're being juiced and revived wow. i can't wait to come out and feel that sensation <laughs> inhale release the left hand Let's twist to the other side. That was beautiful, very nicely. But I used to say it massages the insides, but I never thought of giving such a detailed explanation. So that was great. Tuck your right heel under the left buttock. Cross your left foot over the right knee. Now I'm going to think of all those wonderful juices we are releasing. <laughs> Push your left knee in and talk your upper body to the left. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Dip your right elbow over your left knee. 
if you want you can do what I'm doing hold on to your right knee because I know I come undone or if you're very comfortable and you can go all the way without having you can place your right hand on your right ankle and then turn to look back hold it I can already feel that wonderful rush of energy coming now <laughs> inhale release the right hand and then extend the left leg out let's turn to face the front now keep your left foot keep your left knee down attach the sole of the right knee down attach the sole of the right foot to the inside of the upper left thigh when you're nicely aligned in an L bring the right knee up just a little bit one more twist probably just two more twists and then we'll be done for today hold on to the right ankle with the right hand keep the right foot flat now leave a little bit of room to go forward inhale the right arm up exhale wrap the right elbow around the right knee take your left hand from behind clasp the opposite fingers and then look over your right shoulder take your left shoulder open up your left shoulder so hold it and don't forget to breathe you want to keep breathing it doesn't matter how uncomfortable the twist feels you're going to feel great when we come out of it with Mona around to give those beautiful explanations and really it does it makes such a big difference when you know what you're doing mm -hmm. the mind yeah mm -hmm. inhale release the right of both hands then extend the right leg out fold the left foot in bring the left foot close to the inside of the upper right thigh now this time we're not transitioning from a previous posture so you can keep your foot very close keep it flat bring the left knee out to the side hold on to the left ankle with the right hand inhale the left arm up exhale wrap your left elbow around your left knee and then take your right hand from behind and then clasp the opposite fingers look over your left shoulder open up your right so we're trying to sit upright and breathe at the same time and that's the tricky part for me inhale release the hands keep your le right leg extended bring your left knee down to the ground and then flex your right foot turn to face the extended leg inhale the arms up we see the credits rolling exhale fold from the hip bend try to reach for the knee with your forehead inhale let's come up and let's switch legs extend the left leg out fold the right leg in and while we are getting into this fold I believe I forgot my manners I forgot to thank our wonderful crew if I haven't thanked you for the great teamwork, Barbara Levin, Fran Dixon, Catherine Kirkpatrick, and Alex Leno under Rich and Drew's guidance. Inhale both arms up, take your arms all the way over, exhale, fold from the hip. Josiane, you have a double treat today. Not only did you have those needles doing all that magic in your body, you've got a few of the twists in as well. <laughs> inhale, 